What's up, curl friends? I'm back with more curl care tips to help you save time, build confidence, and make natural hair care easy. Now, I am Dr. Crystal Cunningham, a clinical pharmacist, transformational curl care specialist, and the founder of Bold's Culture Beauty, here with you today to talk about what to do when your curl care habits are working against you. So, I have a question for you. Do you have a system in place to evaluate if the things that you're doing to and for your hair are working against you or are working for you on your natural hair journey? Now, sadly, a lot of us, myself included, when we start our natural journeys, we often don't know what we should be doing to and for our hair to ensure that we're able to confidently reach our curl care goals. If this is you or if this has ever been you, no worries. Today, I'm here to help you by giving you some simple steps that you can do right now to help you be more intentional when it comes to selecting practices and processes that you use to help you care for your curls and reach your hair goals. First, we want to look at what we should do or how to determine if the things we're doing to and for our hair are not working for us. And it's really quite simple. If you have been struggling for any period of time with the same thing on your natural hair journey, chances are that there's nothing wrong with you per se, but the things that you're doing to and for your hair are working against you when it comes to creating an environment that allows your curls to thrive. So the telltale sign um, for most of us, if what we're doing is working against us, is when we've been struggling with the same issues for a very long time. So this could include if you are saying your hair is constantly dry, then it's time to evaluate what you're doing to and for your hair. If you're experiencing consistent breakage, then it's time to evaluate what you're doing to and for your hair. If you are struggling to achieve a certain level of curl definition, then it's time to evaluate what you're doing to and for your hair. So today, I'm gonna give you a few simple steps that you can do right now to evaluate what you're doing to and for your hair to see um, if what you're doing is working against you on your natural hair journey. If you're tired of struggling on your natural hair journey and you feel like your curl care plan might be working against you, here are some things that you can do right now to help you evaluate what is working on your natural hair journey and eliminate what is not. So the first thing you wanna do or that you have to do is come with an open mind, period. Come with an open mind and a desire to do what is best for your curls. Then you wanna examine or evaluate the information that you have received or learned about your hair. Consider what you've actually know about your curls and then evaluate the expectations that you have set for your hair on your natural journey. Now, once you've done this, then you need to really take a close look at the products and practices that you are employing or using to help you care for your curls. And then you have to pursue this whole process with a, resent, a relentless desire to do the absolute best for your curls. Going into this process yeah. requires a certain level of honesty um, and we really have to leave some of our delusions about natural hair care at the door. When you go through this process of really scrutinizing what you know about your hair, of really scrutinizing what you're doing to your hair, you're gonna find out that some of the things you thought were uh, the golden rule for natural hair care is not necessarily true, not necessarily factual, not necessarily helping you uh, to achieve your best curls. And so you'll often find that some of the things that are popular, some of the things that um, are common trends with natural hair care are not necessarily the best practices when it comes to your curls. So I would urge you to keep an open mind, but then also be relentless in your pursuit of achieving your best curls ever. So the things that you can do right now to evaluate what's working and to eliminate what's not is to really come with an open mind, to evaluate the messages you're receiving about natural hair, to take a closer look at what you actually know about your curls, to um, take a closer look at the expectations that you set for your curls based off of what you know, to evaluate the products and practices that you are using, and then to um, make sure that you're relentless in your pursuit of achieving your best curls ever. And then I encourage you to scrutinize 
all information, every bit of information, even what I'm telling you right now. And when you're able to do this, when you're able to look at this information and see, does it line up with facts? Is it supported by science? And is it having a positive or negative benefit on my hair? Then you'll be better able to evaluate what's working, what's working against you, and eliminate those things that are not helping you to achieve your goals on your natural hair journey. If you follow these steps, I promise they will work. Listen, it works if you work it, but when you eliminate the things that are not helping you on your natural hair journey, it alleviates stress. It removes a certain burden to achieve a certain level of perfection, and it ultimately helps you to make natural hair care easy. Well, guys, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. If this resonated with you, please, please, please tell your friends and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And for more great tips to help you save time, build confidence, and make natural hair care easy, make sure you visit me at boldculture.com. And until next week, go boldly.